Hey there fellow crafters! Today we're going to show you some awesome crafts made with Hydro Drip. Get ready because these tricks are going to blow your mind. New here? Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see our new videos. And if you love Hydro Drip as much as we do, give us a thumbs up for this video. Ready to have some fun? Let's get started! Barbie Shoes Ready to spruce up your favorite pair of shoes, Barbie? All you need is a bowl of water and some nail polish to put a funky spin on these plain shoes. Just drizzle the nail polish colors into the bowl in a cool design. Move the paint around with a toothpick to give it a swirled look. Using a pair of tweezers, dip Barbie's shoes into the nail polish. It will stick to the shoe as you pull it up and out of the water. When they're dry, Barbie will have the coolest shoes in town. She's going to be the life of the party! Very stylish, Barbie. Leggings. If you want to add a little flair to Barbie's outfit with some colorful leggings, give this a try. Use the same method as before and drizzle nail polish into a bowl of water. Use your favorite colors to match Barbie's outfit. The trick is to create a layered effect with the nail polish. Swirl it around with a toothpick. Then simply dip Barbie's leg into the Hydro Drip. Let it dry and dress Barbie up to feature those one-of-a-kind leggings. These are so trippy. Melted crayons. Want to make some awesome art with melted crayons? Here's how to do it. First, hot glue your paperless crayons in a row at the edge of your canvas. Choose any colors you like. We've decided to go for a rainbow look. Glue the crayons all the way across the canvas. Add a design that you want to feature on the canvas. We chose the Batman symbol, but you can print anything you like. Glue it onto the canvas. Then tape a piece of paper over the design to keep the crayon from dripping onto it. Hold the canvas up and use a hairdryer to melt the crayon so that the colors drip down onto the canvas like this. When you're done, the canvas will have a color explosion all the way down to the bottom. Carefully pull the paper away, and voila! You've got a unique piece of DIY art for your wall. Acrylic marble. Get your acrylic paints ready because we're going to make some pretty amazing acrylic marble art. You'll need a cup of water and some shower gel. Mix the gel into the water, stir, and distribute amongst four smaller containers. Pour your acrylic paint into the container. Do a different color for each one and stir with a stick. Cut the bottom off a plastic water bottle and place it on the canvas. Now combine the paint colors in a large container, drizzling the paint to make a cool design. Pour the paint over the bottle base. Isn't it trippy? Pick up the canvas and tilt it to move the paint around and cover the whole area. When you're finished, you'll have an acrylic marble art piece to add a pop of color in any room. My Little Pony Let's add some color to this little pony. Sure, she is cute as she is, but we can make her even cuter. You know the drill. Drizzle nail polish into a bowl of water to make your hydro drip. Choose whatever colors you like, but be sure to add at least four or five different colors. Swirl together with a toothpick. Hold Pony's mare and tail up and slowly dip her into the mixture, being careful not to dip in her hair. Check out that colorful pony. Pencil. Let's see what happens to this pencil. 
Use the same hydro dip you made earlier and dip a few pencils in. Once they are dry, you'll have the coolest pencils at school. And they still work like normal pencils. Crayon fruits. Want to make crayons in the shape of fruit? Let's do it. Peel the paper off your crayons and place them into glass containers. Use a hair dryer to melt the crayons into liquid form. Then grab your fruit mold. Pour the melted crayons into the mold. Let the crayons harden in their new shapes. You can place them in the refrigerator to speed up this process. When they're ready, pop them out. The cool part about this is that they still work as regular crayons. See? Candle. Want to design your own candle? Let's go for it. Grab a plastic toy like this one. Using an X-Acto knife, carefully cut out the bottom of the toy. Pull a wick out of a candle or you can buy wicks at the craft store. Thread the wick through the eye of a large needle. Then pierce the needle through the top of your mold. Use a pair of pliers to pull the needle and wick all the way through. Now for the wax. Break up some crayons into a bowl. Cut up some wax from a plain candle and add it to the mixture. Melt it all down and pour the hot water mixture into your mold. Let the mixture cool and harden. Then carefully cut the mold away with an X-Acto knife. Congratulations, you just made a candle. Lego crayons. If you love Legos as much as we do, you're going to love this. Cut out a Lego stencil with construction paper. Use a box cutter to cut your crayons into tiny pieces. You can use different colors for the shirt, the pants, and the head. Use the stencil to make the Lego design with the crayon pieces. Remove the stencil and put a piece of parchment paper over the design. Iron the paper to melt the crayon underneath. Place the stencil on top and enjoy your new Lego crayon art piece. Barbie dress. You can turn Barbie's dress from drab to fab. If you've got a dress like this one, just fold up the tool to reveal the fabric underneath. Put an open pair of scissors inside to make a handle for dipping. Make your hydro dip. Dip the bottom of Barbie's dress into the dip using the scissors. When it's dry, you'll have a super cute dress to match those shoes you made earlier. Don't you just love that swirl detail? Barbie loves it too. Syringe acrylic painting. Let's make some more interesting art, shall we? Mix some shower gel with some water and stir. Then put some acrylic paint into a few separate containers. Pour some of your shower gel mix into each color and give it a stir with a craft stick. Get a medicine syringe and pull the plunger to suck the paint inside. Add all the colors into the syringe. Push on the plunger to paint a picture on your canvas. Fill it in and swirl the paint around with a toothpick. It's really fun to do. Trace the outside of your design to make the edges sharp and let it dry. We heart this art. Sponge painting. Want to make some cool art for your kitchen? Try sponge painting. Use a regular kitchen sponge and squeeze a few different colors of acrylic paint onto it. Swirl the paint around with a stick and cover the whole sponge. Add some more of your favorite color to give it texture. Now get a large piece of lace and dab the painted sponge on it. You want to really saturate the lace. Add more paint to the sponge if you need to. Carefully apply the lace to the center of a wooden cutting board. Gently push the lace design onto the cutting board with the sponge. Then lift the lace up to see the colorful art underneath. Once it's dry, you can hang it in your kitchen. 
Everything is awesome. And those were our 10 awesome crafts with hydro drip and crayons. We hope you enjoyed getting creative with us. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Please subscribe to our channel for more hacks. See you later.